I am delighted to say that Mr. Chris Sims is with us and that we are able to take some time from his very busy schedule to not only present him with uh, a very small uh, amount of recognition for the large contributions he's made to evidence-based policing, but he also got to hear some of this presentation, possibly even a plea for uh, the uh, assistance that uh, the team needs in relation to GPS uh, data. But um, uh, I, I would like to say uh, to those of you who haven't seen the program that this is the second year in which we are uh, presenting uh, a gold medal um, named after Sir Robert Peel, uh, an award that recognizes outstanding leadership for evidence-based uh, policing. Um, and the reason that we are presenting this award uh, to Mr. Sims is that he, like the first winner of this award, has led an agency that has taken on uh, the production of the highest quality police research uh, at a very high scale. Um, uh, last year, Chief Anthony Boza, uh, born in uh, Spain and um, uh, serving uh, the Scandinavian community of Minnesota uh, for much of his uh, police career, um, led an agency that had uh, completed uh, four randomized controlled trials on critical questions of policing. And um, uh, until now, nobody else has ever equaled that record. But today's winner has done exactly the same thing. Uh, in the course of his service uh, as Chief Constable of the West Midlands Police, uh, he launched uh, an experiment uh, actually in two sites, and you can count those twice, I suppose. Um, in, in Coventry and Birmingham South, uh, testing um, uh, specialist policing of repeat antisocial behavior uh, calls. Um, he also uh, uh, supported an ongoing experiment that you'll hear about uh, later on the uh, uh, Turning Point uh, Policing Project, uh, Police Offender uh, Assistance Management. Um, he has um, uh, approved this uh, experiment uh, in the um, uh, uh, PCSO patrols that you've just been hearing about, uh, and uh, he will uh, also uh, be happy to be uh, gone for the day when he, and the, the, the experiment that uh, Alex Murray is going to tell you about in relation to uh, uh, preventing re uh, burglary uh, recurrence uh, is reported this afternoon. Uh, but the most important thing we have to remember about evidence is that the only test of a good experiment is whether the experiment was well done and not what we discover. Um, I mean, I never set out to prove that you kill people by uh, arresting their partners, but if that's what the truth is, then I think you can say it was worth uh, doing it. And we are discovering all kinds of, of truth um, in West Midlands simply because we have the strong and unwavering support for investing police time in expanding knowledge, not just for the local agency, but for the entire uh, profession. And that is what is called a laudatio, uh, in the uh, academic uh, tradition. These are the reasons that the University of Cambridge has chosen to honor uh, Christopher Sims in this way. And I would like to ask uh, the former Chief Inspector of Constabulary, uh, who is the Rodzinowitz Fellow uh, in the Institute of Criminology, to present uh, to uh, Mr. Sims both the medal uh, and the certificate indicating uh, the medal, uh, and to say whatever words uh, he might also add to uh, this uh, occasion. This is a medal. <laughs> Just hands up, anybody's here from the West Midlands that they are associated with them in some devious practice. Put your hands up, be proud. Right. That's loyalty, isn't it? <laughs> he packs the audience, but he doesn't because there's people here in the first year, there's people doing the MST. <clears throat> and Peter's doing a PhD, the pursuit of knowledge. I, I have to, it's an, it really is a personal honor for me to honor this man. Uh, and I just, I, I know we want to go to lunch, but you, just some things you should know um, about him. The, first of all, it's the Peel Medal. Peel was an exemplar in politics and social engineering of knowing and doing. He put the package together. This is, for me is, Proceeding on an evidence base. He tried things out in Ireland. God, God bless us. I know. I was born in Ireland. I heard about him. Um, he tried things out in Ireland, and then he really cracked it and pushed through decades of resistance 
to land a preventive police force. So Peel, example of knowing and doing. This guy here, I have known a lot of uh, chief officers. Uh, sadly, they've known me as well. And um, I, I want to tell you just two reasons why I admire this boy. This man here, I need said boy, he's a young man still compared to me. First of all, he's an exemplar because he invests in the future. It's, it's palpable here, and he didn't pack the audience. He's been doing that for quite, quite some time. And the second reason uh, why he's an exemplar is y you know something about there is a, a hierarchy of regard within chief officers for chief officers. I mean, that's the way it works. And the hierarchy of regard basically boils down to their devotion to the mission and their willingness to change to make the mission successful. And he is known within chief officers for both of those qualities. And yesterday, you heard about the upstanding officer pew. Remember the little ditty? Uh, the upstanding officer pew. This is going to be a bit hard for you, this bit. He runs like a hare. <laughs> he fights like a bear. Yeah. You believe that, can't you? Um, and he does the crossword too. Now, with apologies to all poets all over the world, just an adaptation for this outstanding chief officer, Sims. Um, he will take pain for the mission in any position. <laughs> oh yes, I know this, he has taken pain. And he has a very wide range and the courage to change. And he's been to Oxbridge, so he can do the crossword too. <laughs> the fact of the matter is, I have known this man when he, when he was involved when Tony Blair decided to become the top cop for the country and ran the street crime initiative in 2002. There had to be somebody who actually did stuff. Here he is. In 2005, when the chief constable said he couldn't cope in Nottinghamshire with homicide, and actually a, a gun family called the guns had taken over the city in Nottingham, and I wanted to try and inject, I was in the inspectorate then, I wanted to try and inject some talent and a spark into the team. I went to this guy who already had a very good job and was doing very well and said, how would you like a mission where you're just an advisor and everyone will resent you and reject you at every turn? <laughs> I've got to do it, he said. <laughs> he did it. He helped Peter establish the the National Police Improvement Agency, and that was no easy going. And he's had the courage even to ask the questions about could the private sector help us in the future? Oh my God, there I said it. Could they help in some way in the mission? I admire this man. Um, it is a great honor for me to present you with this. This is the gold medal, Sir Robert Peel, gold medal. Chris Sims, this is Thank your you. life. Thank you very much. Thank you ever so much. Um, Larry and to the university, thank you for uh, this honour. I, I can't think of anyone that I would rather have received it from than, than Dennis. Um, if I look back over my career, most of my most interesting moments began with a phone call, usually at about midnight, from Dennis to offer me some great new opportunity. And, uh, Dressed up as a problem. Obviously. Um, but um, uh, Dennis has my huge respect. I think he's greatly missed at the moment in terms of uh, stalking the corridors of power. Um, I'm glad that he's still involved in policing... Uh, and, and able to exert ex influence, as I know he does. Um, there is a, um, a fantastic cliché when one receives uh, any award, and that cliché is that uh, this is not about me, it, it's, it's about the organisation. Um, and actually, in this case, I can honestly, honestly say, and the citation bears it out, that this is an award for West Midlands Police 
rather than for me. Um, and it's not just about the people that you hear speak. Wendy, Alex, who's speaking today and tomorrow, I think he's got more airtime than you, Larry, which is, um, must be a worry. Um, so this is, this is not just about the people speaking. It's not just about, I think, the 17 or so here today who've all got various pieces of work in different stages of development. It's not even about the management teams who are busy really thinking through how you adapt this work and, and drive it into normal business. Um, I think I accept it, really, for the, for, the, for the officers, PCSOs, police staff, who, in all their busy schedules, and they get busier every day, um, are prepared to take on extra complications and complexity in order to help this work go forward, to do the survey work, to change the way that they operate, to, to have to fill in all the sort of little forms and all the other business that research entails and have the sort of curiosity and the, the, the sort of sense of adventure to want to carry on pushing. So this award is absolutely for, for them. And why is all this important? Um, it, it's important because, as, as Barrack said earlier, um, we're going through uh, a period of austerity. And I don't think it's a crisis or an opportunity. I think it's a chronic condition. And we know now that it's going to be with us till at least 2020, possibly longer. And, you know, if we've got any illusions at all that we can carry on policing in the way that we did a decade ago, when our budgets get to virtually 50% of what they were, forget it. We have to have the courage to change radically the way that we operate. And uh, I will refer to Peel, who, whose uh, face is on, on the, the fantastic medal that I've been presented with. If we're going to be the guardians of the spirit that Peel introduced, then we have got to do some dramatic things in terms of policing. And Dennis is right. I do believe that some of the energy and the creativity and technology must come from the private sector, but equally that the sparks of innovation have to come from good research. And, and so I suppose the challenge, you, you sit here on a, on a fantastic English summer's day uh, in dreamy Cambridge, um, remind yourself of the importance of the mission. And the mission is that you have to come up with the levers that allow us to change at the pace to carry on the traditions of Peel. And we are relying upon your creativity to do that. So, Larry, I'm, I'm delighted to accept the award. I accept it uh, proudly on behalf of West Midlands Police and in the expectation that your work, your work, will drive the change that we need. Thank you.